welcome back to an episode of Experimenting with Trollger, where today we're going to be talking about everyone's favorite laughing stock of a secondary, the Base Jumper. I want to start this video by dispelling the myth that this weapon is for bad players and is not good. Sure, it might not be Soldier or Trollger's best secondary, but it's far from bad, and I think it actually has a really good place in the game at the moment. But why do people think it's bad and, well, for noobs? Well, I think that's because many people think of this thing as some sort of crutch, seeing as it makes hitting gardens easier at the cost of giving up many useful upsides of something like the Mantrads. Oh, watch the video I made on those, by the way. I'm actually kind of proud of it. There's a, there's a card right there now. Go watch! And sure, that might be kinda true, I just think that there's more depth to this weapon than just making gardens easier to land. I'm also not gonna do a stat breakdown of these things, because, well, there's just no need to. While airborne, if you press jump, you pull out the parachute, allowing you to float down to the ground slower and strafe in the air. If you put it away, you can't pull it out again until you hit the ground. There's no real stat breakdown needed because, well, it's a really simple weapon. Either way, let's get into the video. First, I'm gonna teach you how not to use this weapon, and the way you see many bad players actually using it. That is, to perform a rocket jump, immediately pull out the parachute, and float in the air, barely moving at all. This essentially puts a giant target on you that just says, HIT ME! and is in no real way the correct way to use this thing. You only make yourself a huge target, and, well, it's just bad and doesn't feel right. Instead, wait till you're decently close to the enemy, and then pull your shoot. You'll still be a decent target, but at least you have an actual chance to kill someone, rather than floating in the air like a, I don't know, a UFO or something. And being a huge target is one of the worst parts about this weapon. You give up Trollgers hard to keep up with mobility in exchange for more reliable gardens and some other tech. Plus, you kinda have to remember, since you don't have the Mantrids on, you're taking full knockback and air blast, which basically turns you into a pinball of sort. The only tip I can give you is to try and avoid as much damage as possible, and try not jumping into people head on. Instead, try to strafe to either their left or right in attempt to, you know, make them miss. Sometimes it's just as impossible, or just doesn't work because the player somehow understands how to aim, but I mean it's worth a shot either way. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry for talking about so much bad stuff in the beginning of this video. I just wanted to clear up some of the pollution that this weapon's reputation has gotten over the years. And don't think that I hate this weapon because of its downsides, or think that this thing's garbage, because it's quite the opposite. I do actually like this thing, and it has quite a few unique upsides that make it viable in my opinion. Let's start off with the small things. The parachute can actually help you stay alive in situations where you would normally die, mostly the falling hazards like cliffs or fall damage. Pulling your chute just before you fall to the ground will minimize all fall damage, which can come in clutch when in a tight pinch where a fall is guaranteed to kill you. You could make the counter argument to this, saying that well, you could just break your fall with a rocket jump, and that is true, but from some heights, this becomes unreasonable to pull off, and the parachute just ends up being more reliable in general. Also, in some situations, if you're pushed off a cliff by a pyro or some other form of knockback, you can use the parachute to clutch up and get back to solid ground, assuming the enemy doesn't decide to zone you out like an asshole. You can also perform one of my favorite tricks with this weapon, something I have coined the door garden. Essentially, you jump just above a door you expect an enemy to come out of, whether it's a common choke or a spawn room, and hover above it with your parachute, just in garden range. And as soon as an enemy comes out, hit him with your shovel. It's a good mix up for someone who's chasing you, or a nice surprise to the one enemy who won't stop focusing you all game. Fuck you, you know who you are. And, most importantly with this weapon, is the fact that it helps you garden people really, really well. You could pull the shoot while just in front of someone to elongate the window you have to garden them. You can also pull the shoot to reach enemies that would 
be out of range of a normal jump, or the jump you just performed ahead of time. It makes gardening people a breeze compared to other secondaries, and allows for gardens that other secondaries just can't get to. You could also use this thing to stop a jump early by pulling your parachute mid-jump and immediately putting it away, stopping most of your forward momentum. It's another movement mix-up that can, well, stump aggressors, and overall, just makes this thing really, really good. Overall, the base jumper is a fantastic secondary for both Trollger and Soldier, allowing for unique movement options and nicely contemplating itself with the Gardener. And, while many people that use the weapon use it in a very awkward and very terrible way that may paint a terrible picture of the weapon, it's actually a solid choice for those able to learn its techniques. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the base jumper on Trollger. I actually was kind of dreading this episode in the beginning as even I looked down upon this weapon thinking it was, well, hot garbage. But after playing with it, I've been heavily proven wrong, and I believe you could be too. No shame though, as to be fair, this thing used to allow you to float in a straight line while set on fire, for no reason at all. Anyone remember that? Used to actually be pretty cool, there was like a Red Robot video on it. It was pretty cool, but sometimes kind of annoying, because you wouldn't be able to fall down. Oh well. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, as well as leaving me a sub if you want more Trollger and other video game content like this one. Once again, thank you for watching, and have a good one.